13 Scott McCain spent time with a Utah bounty hunter and shows us what it's like. It can be dangerous work finding, then arresting people who don't want to go back to jail. And bounty hunters say you're only as good as your last capture. But with hundreds of bail jumpers out there, it can also be very profitable. Bail bondsman Jim Elliott and his brother caught Hoskins. Elf. Jim Elliott pays his bills by tracking down folks who haven't yet paid their debt to society. We're the people that find people that are running from the legal system. So we're kind of like the babysitters of the court. We find these people, we drag them back, no matter where they go. Most criminal suspects are eligible for bail, a cash bond releasing them from jail until their case is resolved. Suspects provide a down payment. Typically, 10%. A bail bondsman fronts the rest. But if the suspect skips court, a judge will revoke bond, and the company is liable for the full bail amount unless the suspect is rearrested within six months. We can catch most people in six months. I've never not caught anybody yet. Bounty hunters like Jim Elliott get a percentage of what the bond company would have paid the courts What's if that? he gets his man or woman. Uh, we're looking for this gentleman here. But most suspects are hiding, meaning Elliot and his partner spend long days searching. We're bail enforcement agents, and we're looking for this gentleman here. I don't know if you might have seen him lately. They look at the shelters, plasma donation centers, and local motels. No, I haven't seen him. I don't know. They also visit homes where suspects have family ties. I'm still her mom, no matter what's happening. I'm not going to be saddled with all of this crap. It requires cajoling. I, I honestly just want to help her get this behind her. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to arrest her. And sometimes threatening. If we find her first and she is going back to jail, but if she contacts us, then uh, we will make arrangements. But Elliot says there's rarely a dull moment. There's enough bad people out there to keep us busy. But what happens when the suspects put up a fight? And what does it take to take down those suspects? We'll tell you coming up in part two of Bounty Hunter at 945. Bounty hunters like to operate in the shadows and say the element of surprise is their biggest ally. But it can still be a dangerous short career. Fox 13 Scott McCain has part two of his special report on a Utah bounty hunter. Bail enforcement agent Jim Elliott says most of his days are peaceful and profitable. But there are those times when his job resembles the cable TV show, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Looking for bail jumpers means knocking on lots of doors. And most folks aren't thrilled when Jim Elliott makes a house call, especially when our camera is rolling. I told you to turn that off. But sometimes, being a bail enforcement agent can be downright dangerous. Like this scene back in September, when a fugitive took extreme measures to avoid going back to jail. And that person with the warrant <coughs> shot at them. Uh, and missed, and they knocked him to the ground. It's a dangerous job that bounty hunters do, like today. Those guys just get shot at. Jim Elliott says incidents like that motivate him to stay on top of his game. You could die any second, and you won't know about it until till you're right in the middle of it, and it happens real fast. So far, 10 years into his career, Elliott has escaped serious injury, all while finding hundreds of bail fugitives including several of Fox 13's Utah's Most Wanted. We find these people, we drag them back, no matter where they go. This past summer, he led police in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, to Utah's Most Wanted suspect, Antonio Shropshire. He skipped town after skipping bail on several felony charges. Aggravated burglary and aggravated assault with a gun, and they've dealt with this male several times who is a known gang member. The money is good and the adrenaline addicting. But Elliot says bounty hunting is like being a salesman working on straight commission. You're only as good as your last bounty. If you don't catch one, you won't get another job. But he'll keep doing it as long as he's physically able. After that... I've got techniques and, and, and tricks that I've learned that I can find most anybody. So if I get too old, you know, I'll hire me three crashers and we'll just take them down. Now, if you'd like to learn more about certification to become a bounty hunter, or if you'd just like to know more about Jim Elliott's American Pride Agency, log on to MyFoxUtah.com. In the newsroom, Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.